Let's say you wanted to make a picture to show all your classmates' favorite drinks. Well, how would you do that? What would it look like? Today we're going to teach you two different ways to draw that picture. The cafeteria workers want to know what students prefer to drink during lunch, and they asked you to help. They've already asked students and they've gathered the following information. 20 students like to drink water. 30 students like to drink milk. And 15 students like to drink juice. Well, this information can be shown in two different ways. One is called a picture graph. Picture graphs use pictures to represent quantities or how many objects there are. This graph helps us visualize the drink order. Notice that there is a key showing you that each drink container is equal to five drinks. And since 20 students like to drink water, there are four bottles of water to represent that. Five, 10, 15, 20. The 30 students that like to drink milk have six containers of milk. Yep. 15 students that like juice are shown by three juice containers. And don't forget, there's another way that the information can be shown. It's called a bar graph. Bar graphs use bars or rectangles to represent quantities or the number of objects. Notice the labels under the bars. The first bar is labeled water. And you see how high it goes? Look at the left side. See the numbers? Notice that the bar for the water only goes up to 20. Now check the other drinks. Milk goes up to 30 and juice goes up to 15. Graphs are a pretty neat way to show information. So let's look at a picture graph and answer some questions about it. Take a moment to look at this graph. First thing we want to look at is the title. It'll tell us what this graph is showing us. Well, the graph is showing us the number of apples that are picked each month. And did you find the key? The key tells us that each picture of an apple represents two apples. So we can tell by looking at the two picture of the apples next to July that four apples were picked in July. And now that we understand what the graph is showing us, let's answer those questions. What month had the most apples picked? Well, we can look to see which month has the largest number of apples listed next to it. And that would be September. Great work. Now we can find which month had the least number of apples picked by finding the smallest number of apples. It looks like November has the least amount of apples. We are on a roll. Okay, next question. How many more apples were picked in September than in October? Okay, first, let's find out how many apples were picked in each of those months. September has nine pictures of an apple by it. Remember, each picture of an apple represents two picked apples. So 9 multiplied by 2 is 18. Next, October has four pictures of apples, each of which represent two actual apples. 4 multiplied by 2 is 8. So 8 apples were picked in October. Wonderful. Getting back to the question, how many more apples were picked in September than in October, we know that how many more indicates that we want to subtract. And so 18 subtract 8 is 10. 10 more apples were picked in September than in October. Great work on that picture graph. Now let's try a bar graph. Play ball! Let's look at this bar graph. The title tells us that the information shown is which sports people like to play. The bottom part shows us the type of sports. Baseball, football, basketball, and soccer. The left side gives us the number of votes. Okay, well we have a good understanding of the graph now. I think it's time to answer our questions. How many votes does basketball have less than baseball? Well, first, we need to find the number of votes each of those sports have. Here is the bar for basketball. If we follow it to the top of the graph on the left, it ends at 6. Basketball has 6 votes. Now if we do the same for baseball, here is the bar, follow it along to the top on the left, and we hit the number 12. Now we can find the difference using subtraction. 12 minus 6 is 6. Good job! I'd call that a slam dunk. The next question asks which sports have the same number of votes. Well, do any of the bars look to be the same size? Aha! Uh -huh. Baseball and soccer are. Let's double check by finding the votes for each of those. 
Now using the same process, it looks like soccer also has 12 votes. So baseball and soccer each have 12 votes. Nice, you hit that one out of the park. Okay, last question. How many votes were there in total? Well, we already know that there were 12 votes for baseball, six for basketball, and 12 for soccer. We haven't yet found the number for football, so let's count it. Uh -huh. Okay, go up on the left. 16 votes for football. When we see the phrase, the total number, that means to add up all the votes. So, 12 plus 16 plus 6 plus 12. Uh, let's do this one part at a time. Okay, 12 plus 16, that equals 28. 28 plus 6 is 34. We're almost there. 34 plus 12 is 46. There were a total of 46 votes. Wow, you did a great job with these graphs. Now let's sum up all that we learned. We learned about picture graphs and how they use pictures to represent how many objects there are. Always remember to check the key to know how many objects each picture represents. Next, we learned about bar graphs, and we saw how they use bars to show quantities or how many objects there are. Excellent work! I'm excited for the next lesson.